Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. We have come up with special MCQ series based on a completed book of agriculture by Neem Rasunda. We will come up with more subject wise MCQ series from this book. Please do like, share and comment if you people are interested with this series. Question number 1. Which types of plant have highest photorespiration efficiency? Option A. C3 plant. Option B. C4 plant. Option C. Cam plant. Option D. Both B and C. Correct answer is C3 plant. While coming to the option number B, C4 plants are photo insensitive and it reduces the photorespiration also. Coming to the C4 plants, C4 plants are highly grown and adapted in arid regions like cactus, jade plant and orchids. Coming to the question number 2. First KVK was established, established at Pondicherry and TNAU at Coimbatore in 1974. And KVK was recommended by which committee? Option A. Balwantrai, Raj, Balwantrai Mehta Committee. Option B. Mohan Singh Mehta Committee. Option C. Ashok Mehta Committee. Option D. Shivraman Committee. Right answer is Moh Mohan Singh Mehta Committee. And here comes to options D. Shivaraman Committee is also most important for the exam. It is Shivaraman Committee was recommended recommendation and recommended and establishment of NABAD surface. And coming to the question number three, in which of the following types of tillage where at least 30% of the crop residues on the soil surface? Option A convention tillage, option B mulch tillage, option C conservation tillage, and option D is reduced tillage. Right answer is conservation tillage. <coughs> Option A. Convention tillage refers to incorpor incorporates or buries most of the crop residues into the soil. Means uh, it uh, buries the so crop residues into the soil, deep into the soil. Coming to the mulch tillage, mulch tillage refers to it left the left crop residues are left on the soil surface and it is undisturbed surface also. Coming to the reduced tillage, it is preparation of soil for planting and cultivation of soil after planting. Question number 4. Which of the following secondary tillage operation used for breaking the clods and pulverizing the soil? Option A. Plowing. Option B. Rotary tillage. Option C. Harrowing. Option D. Is tilling. Right answer is harrowing. Option number A. Plowing. Plowing means breaking and turning up, turning up the first layer of the soil. Coming to the rotary tillage. Rotary tillage is the method of cultivation by a monitor, motorizing the cultivator that works the soil by means of rotary tills or blades. Coming to the tilling. Mechanical preparation of soil for planting and cultivation. Coming to the question number 5, materials are applied to the plant surface to reduce transpiration from the plant. Which one is reflecting type of anti-transparent? <coughs> anti-transparent. Option A. Atrazine. Option B. Silicon. Option C. Mobile leaf. Option D. Is choline. Right answer is choline. Choline is a reflecting type of anti-transparent. Atrazine and atrazine is stomatal closing type of reflecting type. And silicon is film forming and mobile leaf also film forming. Question number 6. The productivity of the soil is lost due to cultivation of the same crop. Option A. Sustainable agriculture. Option B. Response forming. Option C. Sustainable forming. Option D. Terror forming. Right answer is option C. Sustainable forming. Coming to the question option A. Sustainable agriculture. Sustainable agriculture is to maintain the soil fertility and ecological harvesting, ecological harmony. Coming to the option B, response forming. Response forming refers to the production of monsoon. Terra forming is to develop the Mars according to the Earth's environment. Next, question number 7. In which type of irrigation, application of water to the field, surface under gravity flow which results in a series of on and off modes of constant or variable time span. Options are corrugation, option B, furrow irrigation, option C, sprinkler irrigation, option D, surge irrigation. 
right answer is surgerigation let's start with uh, option a corrugation corrugation means primarily used to irrigate non cultivated and close gr- close growing crops using small and closely spaced channels in the slope of the field let's go with option b furrow irrigation furrow irrigation is oldest method of irrigation it is used in the farmers flow of water down to small trenches it is also called as flood irrigation let's go with sprinkler irrigation sprinkler irrigation is also called as spray irrigation it is the method of applying water to a controlled manner in the similar way of a rainfall let's go with the question number 8 the period over which irrigation water is to be supplied for the production of any crop is called as option a duty of water option b delta option c base period option d grass water ir- requirement right answer is base period let's go with duty of water duty of water is the area of land that can be irrigated with the unit of volume of irrigation of water let's go with delta delta is the depth of water required to raise a crop over a unit of area across the base period let's go with gross water requirement gross water requirement that is the total amount of water inclusion of losses applied through the irrigation let's go with question number 9 the ratio of iwcp serves as a soil moisture stress index lower the ratio will be the more stress which of the following crop has highest and lower lowest iw or cp maize and groundnut option b rice and safflower option c wheat and peas and pea option d cotton and gram option b is the right answer is rice and safflower question number 10 agricultural technology management agency is atma is operated at state level option b district level option c block level option d village level answer is district level if you like my content please do like share and comment in the comment box thank you